Hotel Echo. Livid. Livid. Oscar. Good evening from London, England. From your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly, DLG Repping. Short for Dele London Guna. Space Romeo Echo. Pissed off. Pissed off. Incandescent. No ambitions. No ambition Arsenal. <sighs> so yesterday night. We find out that we signed Matt Turner. And. Trusty the process. Yesterday. Oh, by the way, before I start with this rant, which is going to be a rant, um, allow me to say good morning, good afternoon, or good night and rest well from your guy himself. Um, do smash the thumbs up like button, um, leave your opinions, your thoughts of um, yesterday night's um, transfer deadline day. Leave it in the comment section below and try and leave a positive um, message. Yeah. Blah. Try and leave a positive feedback in my comment section below. Smash the share button virally all over the world, especially to your friends and relatives. And for those who are watching for the very first time, who know who I am, smash the share button amongst your friends and family as well. So let's get into um, Arsenal's abysmal transfer window. Absolute shambles. I've said it on the fan cam before and I'll say it on my channel. Arsenal Football Club, the club that I've been in love with since childhood, is now a it's been a it's a broken club. It's not broken more than ever before. It's worse than ever before. It's more broken than ever before. It's been broken for 17 years. Just when you're thinking that the the pieces were getting mend mended. Just when you think the cracks are getting a little bit covered. It keeps breaking into pieces. There's no mending. Matt Turner and Trusty, whatever his name is, Trusty the Process. Really? It's a joke. A complete joke. <sighs> Arteta, you have loaned players out. But we don't see any players coming in. We needed a striker and we needed a creative midfield player. Odegaard is meant to be that number 10 playmaker. He's always out on the frigging wing. The right wing. He's, out, he's always out on the right wing. As he could have produced any moments of brilliance in that sense. What is it you're getting him to do? If he's not listening to you, then make it clear to him. Or don't play him at all. Emil Smith Rowe, he's going to be in um, in <sighs> Let me start again. He's going to be inconsistent. He's not going to be as consistent as. Um, a season out and out pro like Mane or or a Bernardo Silva because he's young and he's learning the game. And we've got two strikers that can't hit a barn door with a cow's they can't hit a bar, they can't hit a back a cow's backside with a they can't hit a cow's backside with a banjo. That's what I'm trying to say. Due to the fact that you have allowed Aubameyang to go for sweet fuck all. Yeah? To Barcelona, our favourite feeder club. Yes. We are Barcelona's feeder club. If you're listening to this, it may hurt what I'm saying, but it's the truth. The fucking truth. And it hurts. Tough shit. He's gone to Barcelona. 
for fuck all. And we haven't got a replacement directly. With 17 league games to go. You know what I feel tempted to do? You see this here? Have a look at this. Yes. That's my red membership. I feel like getting a pair of scissors and splitting it into two to show my disgust of that football club called Arsenal run by the personnel. Edu, you're the biggest fucking fraud since the Emirates was built from day second. And to think that I took a selfie with you and that fucking cunt, lying fraud cunt, Raul Sanlihi. I must be a bigger idiot than I thought I was. You fooled, you fooled a lot of Arsenal fans. And I'll tell you something, yeah? When I go into the fucking club shop, yeah? I, see a, I, I go in there to look. I don't go in there to spend a fucking penny. Let me tell you why. The club is not showing no one any ambition. Don't come up to me yeah, and tell me it's for my kids. You're not your own. There's many of our parents in this fucking world that have kids. And you want to buy the jersey for the kids. There's, there's just no ambition. No fight in the fan base. No desire. They accept it. Oh, we didn't buy anyone. Well, at least we got rid of the dead wood. That's not the point. You need to strengthen to give yourself an opportunity. And at the same time, try and coach what you have. Man, manage what you have. And Mikel Arteta, because he's so egotistical and arrogant, he obviously believes his own shit don't smell. And I mean, he obviously believes his own shit don't smell. And an artistic. The guy hasn't got a clue. But the guy above him, Edu, he's technical director. He's meant to be the go-between between Arteta. Oh, no, sorry. Mikel Whatever. And the A's of directors. Meaning Richard Garlic, Josh Kroenke, Vina Van Katesham, And the main cunt himself, the main son of a cunt himself, called Stanley Cronkey, the silent billionaire. I am disgusted to be an Arsenal fan. As for the next 17 league games, what fucking ever. Just what fucking ever. It's another write-off. Conceded the, the league. I've conceded the whole season. We might as well concede. There's fuck all to play for. What is the point of competing for the top four if you haven't got the necessary weapons that you're going to need to compete? Our English soldiers, or should I say, this country's um, soldiers will not go out to compete in a war in Afghanistan or where else in the world without their tools. Now the problem with Arsenal, the Arsenal fan base, they'll get excited about a, a marquee signing being linked. We might just get that one marquee signing and what happens? The club shop gets flooded with customers putting money into, into the till and that money that goes into the till goes to the club hierarchy. And what they do with that money? Keeping it for themselves, of course. And yet, you come out and criticise someone like myself, maybe not myself, you criticise the Lee Gunner Bangs, the Robbie Lyles, the Turkishes, the Kenny Kens, etc, etc, for speaking out on the truth. But for me, why should I put my hands in my pocket every time I go into the club shop. I'm not giving Arsenal a penny until Stan Kroenke is extinct. And I do mean those words. 
on the field, we're going to be a laughing stock. Newcastle United are already laughing at us. You know, Edu has publicly come out and spoken about Bruno Gomez. Bruno Gomez, I like him. Newcastle, put the fucking money on the table. Bid accepted. Booked his medical. He's passed it. Agreed personal terms. And he's now a Newcastle United player. And I'll tell you what, Mr. Gomez. Congratulations. Congratulations for becoming a Newcastle player. I look forward to seeing you in the English Premier League and what you really are about. Maybe you can show the English Premier League what Arsenal are definitely missing. <sighs> this is just, ah, oh, disgusted. But I'm going to go on about this, you know. I am so incandescent with this team. I'll tell you something now. We are a broken club. It won't surprise me in the next 10 years from now. There will not, there'll be very little kids attending the Emirates Stadium because they want to support Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United still, and Newcastle. They're going to attract more young viewers in children than what Arsenal will. Because the way we're going, we're not going to attract... COVID-19. Never mind young children supporting Arsenal. It's a fucking fact, isn't it? The truth hurts. Tough shit. Because I'm done with this fan base. I'll tell you this now. <sighs> Why did I spend up to 35 odd quid onto this? I should cut this right now. If you think I'm overreacting, yeah, drop it in the comment section below. I don't think I'm being as honest as possible. Defensively, on the pitch, we are as solid as they come. Got a top-notch goalkeeper. Midfield, light as fuck. An attack. We're relying on two strikers who are fucking off in the summer. For sweet fuck all. What kind of clarity do we get from that? And we've got a manager who's inexperienced. Who got the job after being Pep's bitch. And now. He's showing me what an inexperienced, arrogant. Fool he is. Mikel Arteta, get out of the club. Take Edu, the biggest fraud of a technical director with you. And I say that because he's the, he's the biggest fraud of a technical director since the Emirates was created. Josh Kroenke, Stan Kroenke, if you value your family lives, if you value your own personal lives, if you really value the, for the, if you really care about the people you value in your life, you fuck off. ASAP. Ideally, I want you to fuck off before midnight. That will be sweet music to me. Garlic, fuck off. Man from Peckham. You ain't from fucking Peckham. You're from God knows what. Just get the fuck out of here. Chips, Keswick. Out of it. All of you, get out. We need footballing people at the club. And the way the personnel is run, nah. And as I was saying about the club shop, you know, the prices for any merchandise can keep going up by 70%, 75%, 90%. And whose fault is it the most? Yes, the fan base. And whose fault is it that... um? The stadium is near 60,000 every other week. Yes, me and the fan base. Because the, the aides of directors are playing on this shit. They know how to trigger the Arsenal fan base. How to get them to buy, purchase tickets. Well, I'll tell you what, even if I could afford a season ticket, I won't buy one. I'll stick to a red membership. I'll stay cheap. And I'll stay that way. 
on the red membership until I can see progress. Not even progress. Until Stan Kroenke is extinct, that's when the progress begins. Or should I say, that's when the process begins. When Stan Kroenke is deadly extinct. Arteta, trust the process. What makes you want to feel that we believe a word that you say? Seriously. We we finish if we end up finishing eighth, ninth, tenth, that's the end of Mikel whatever. And then can you trust the um, board to bring in a top notch manager? No. I can't trust them to do shit or whatever shit comes out of their mouth. I can't even trust that. <sighs> you know what? Let me end this fucking video. Like, comment, share, and please subscribe to the channel. Yeah, do all of that, please, for me. Um, to all the ladies, gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, it's very rare that I have a swear. It is very rare, so I do apologise for my language. Until next time, take care of, well, well, all I need to say is take care of your friends, take care of your families, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Until next time, DLG Repping will talk again. Peace, love and bless again, as I always say. Ladies, gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. As I always say, saving the best to last, thank you for putting up with me, but not my explicit language i do apologize i'm done from here now i'm gonna wrap it up and say all to my football fans my followers subscribe yeah you know what i mean just be nice